Feel the vibe of the crowd, see the crowds growing, see their intensity. I don't think that uh, spirituality is meant to be a business. I don't think that God needs your money. My fiance just recently left me. Alexis on fire, Wolf Mother, Finger Left. Anti flag. Lily Allen. Chaos. And you're watching the Adler cast. So, what makes a good frontman? There's uh, vocal skill, obviously. How about the uh, ability to write thought-provoking and, and sharp lyrics? That's probably pretty important. But what about that intangible, that kind of leadership quality that makes people want to pay attention to what you have to say? David Draymond has that quality, big time. My name is Brian Adler, and this is the lead singer from Disturbed on the Adlercast. See for yourself. What the crap is that thing? I've heard you talk about your past, and, and I've heard you say that you were once a religious guy, but not so much these days. No, not really at all these days. What, what changed? It was uh, when I went to university that things started to shift. Things yeah. started to go towards you know, things, a more secular view. Uh, I got into philosophy, and one of my degrees is in philosophy, and uh, you know, Nietzsche actually probably had a lot to do with that. Uh, science destroying the, no the modern notion of God. While philosophy tries to explain things away, there's other concepts that I couldn't get away from. Concepts like a first mover. Concepts like um, having a motion that was started by some sort of energy, some entity that people can either refer to as Mother Nature or God or anything else. So while I still do believe that there is a higher power of some kind, but I don't subscribe to the uh, the modes, ethics, and mores of organized religion. I, I don't think that uh, spirituality is meant to be a business. I don't think that God needs your money. When people start using religion for their own selfish needs and for their own selfish motives, it, it, it leaves a very bitter taste in your mouth. And it's so, a great way to control people. Oh yeah, yeah, it has been since the beginning of time. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that people uh, will ever wake up to that? I mean, I, I doubt it. I think that, uh, you know, there's a reason why religion is called the opiate of the masses. You know, mm -hmm. people need something to hold on to. They need to believe that uh, there is something more than what they see. Uh, and there very well might be. Um, but to say that any one person has it down and knows for sure, or that any one way is the right way is just a ridiculous way of thinking. Many of the fantastical notions of organized religion have been destroyed uh, by science. You know, you have creationists in this world who believe that dinosaurs existed 3,000 years ago, which, you know, the fossil record clearly shows that that is not correct. So, uh, you know, on that level, Nietzsche was right. Um, on the other level, <coughs> you can't the one issue with Nietzsche's philosophy is that the concept of the first mover still doesn't play into that. Even if you're talking science, okay, even if you go literally down a scientific perspective, um, that from a, from a scientific perspective to imply that something started everything in and of itself implies greater power. Right. So that transcends science in and of itself. So again, you have to pick and choose what you want to take from each discipline, if you will. If you read into it too much, it can really go to your head, and it does to a lot of people. I've had a number of life experiences lately that have been incredibly traumatic. 